Hello, sweetheart, my YouTube family. How are you doing? How's your Christmas, pre-Christmas time? And it's just, it, this is a very special video. I just learned a lot. So the new audio uh, and uh, new books I've read uh, by uh, Neville Goddard and Abraham Hicks. And I, you know, try to compare between those two, the greatest uh, teachers, and you know, it's um, it's almost the same. Neville Goddard, Abraham Hicks, and today when I was listening to, Neville, to, to Abraham Hicks, and Abraham Hicks was advising that before you go to bed, just remember everything you, you've done during the daytime, only good. So don't don't pay any attention to anything bad happened to you, but only good what happened to you during during the daytime. And I remember that Neville Goddard is teaching: don't think about anything what's happened to you during the daytime, but revise your day. And I liked it more. Yeah, I think this is lots of wisdom. Uh, and uh, but but you know, I'm just coming to the same conclusion reading more and more, learning more and more. But anyway, today I'd like to give you one more method I tried on my smart <laughs> myself and with a couple of my students here. This is all about your figure, your perfect body. Uh, and prior to the Christmas time, lots of you are asking how to keep your body in a perfect condition, especially when you like to get into your special dress uh, during the Christmas time, it'd like to look good. This is a little, like, let's call it simulation uh, uh, menu for one week. In the morning, you have to have hot oatmeal with little honey. At lunchtime, eat anything you'd like to eat. It's just totally up to you. Choose whatever you'd like to choose for your lunchtime. Dinner time, no later than 7 p.m. And during a din dinner time, you have to allow yourself only, only soup. Yes, this is like stimulation, you know, one week menu. It's it's pretty easy because you can you can have this wonderful healthy breakfast, lunch time anything you'd like, only dinner which is most important, seven p.m. and soup. But again, soup you prefer. Choose your soup and enjoy your soup. And one more thing, sweetheart. Before your dinner time, find the time to totally relax and take a shower. And after you took a shower, serve your dinner nicely. Yes, it's just a bowl of soup, but still enjoy and, you know, let it take at least 15 minutes to finish your bowl of soup. It's pretty slow, but it's so important. Your body would thank you, you feel good, you feel relaxed, you sleep well. And after 7 p.m., yes, for most of you, like it's so difficult, it's impossible. It is possible, sweetheart. I give you a million examples, very successful examples. Those people who had this bad habits eating late, because it is a bad habit. When you're eating late, you're not sleeping well. You're gaining weight. And most importantly, your health is, 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 is not good when you're eating late. This is a universal law. You don't have to vibrate. Your, your body is supposed to relax. But when your body, when you eat late, your body is not relaxing. Your body is working on the food you got into your body very late this in, in it it's, it's really preventing your good night's sleep so that's why sweetheart try this diet remember neville goddard remember abraham hicks remember your <laughs> youtube family mom 
Galina and enjoy this menu. Just, you know, you can lose easily if you're on this menu for one week, 20 pounds, like my students here did. So why not try enjoying breakfast, lunch, anything you'd like, and dinner, the soup you'd like, and have your perfect figure ready to celebrate Christmas and Happy New Year. I'll talk to you soon. I love you very much. Enjoy your food. Try this menu. Have a great day or evening. I love you.